Coming in at number two is the German retailer Lidl. And Lidl is a supermarket that has over 10,000 locations throughout Germany, Europe, and North America as well. And in 2011, Lidl tried to start implementing SAP, or they did start implementing SAP, but by 2018, they had spent over half a million euros on the implementation and ultimately pulled the plug. One of the biggest challenges that Lidl faced during the implementation is that they couldn't reconcile the way SAP worked with the way they did business. And one example they gave was the fact that SAP values inventory at the time. SAP would value inventory based on the cost of the inventory, whereas Lidl wanted to value the inventory based on the retail price of the inventory. And so that reconciliation wasn't able to happen. Lidl wasn't able to change their way of operating. They weren't able to change SAP to fit their way of operating, and that created a number of challenges. And this is just one example that they cited as why the project failed. There was also quite a bit of turnover at the executive ranks and a lot of finger pointing with their consultancy that contributed to the challenges as well. So this highly customized environment for a very complex organization, trying to deploy a rigid software that couldn't be accommodating to the way Lidl needed to operate, and the fact that Lidl couldn't change their business to fit the software, created a number of challenges that really snowballed out of control 